Hello everyone, this is Richard with the Modern Healthspan newsletter. First, a disclaimer. In this newsletter series, we will share the latest research studies, news, events and products that we found interesting. We are not making any recommendations and it is not medical advice. Let's have a look at the scientific papers that we found from a couple of tweets. This week, Dr. David Sinclair tweeted about a recently published paper which looked at resveratrol and exercise together. Let's have a quick look at the paper. The paper examined the combination of resveratrol and exercise in older adults. It was a pilot study with 60 participants and lasted 12 weeks. There were three groups, all of which did exercise. In addition, one group had a placebo, one group had 500 milligrams of resveratrol, and the last group had one gram of resveratrol. Here is a summary of, of the results. The gait speed decreased for the control group, but increased for the one gram group. The one gram group also did best on the six minute walk test. They did conclude that exercise and resveratrol were safe and feasible, suggesting a larger trial to test the efficacy. Dr. Jason Fung tweeted about a study looking at coffee and green tea consumption and the effect on all-cause mortality in patients with type 2 diabetes. The study was quite large, including nearly 5,000 people, and followed them for 5.3 years, with a follow-up rate of 99.5%. They looked at how much green tea and coffee the participants drank on a daily basis and were particularly interested in the combination. Here are the results presented in a graphical form. The HR on the vertical axis is the hazard ratio, so a lower number is better. We can see here that the best result came from drinking a combination of four cups of green tea and two cups of coffee. And here we can see the conclusion. Higher consumption of green tea and coffee was associated with reduced all-cause mortality. Their combined effect appeared to be additive in patients with type 2 diabetes. I certainly enjoy my freshly brewed coffee in the morning and the occasional green tea. I find having these zero calorie drinks during the day helps me get through my intermittent fasting. The only thing is I need to get them in before 2 p.m. so as not to disturb my sleep. Next we will talk about the Japan NMN long-term human trial phase 2. Let me recap. So far there is only one human clinical study completed for NMN. The aim of this study was to examine the safety and bioavailability of NMN in human bodies. In fact, this trial was only phase one of a longer term study. Now phase two study has been started. Let me go through what phase two looks like. The study is entitled Assessment of the Safety of Long-Term NMN in Healthy Subjects, Phase Two Study. The trial sample target is 30 healthy men from 40 to 60 years old. The primary outcomes are the assessment of the safety of long-term NMN in both physical and laboratory examinations. The secondary outcomes are the assessment of the kinetics of NMN and the metabolites of nicotinamide and the effects of daily NMN administration on glucose metabolism. For NMN users like us and our audience, it's great to hear about long-term NMN studies on both safety and efficacy. We found this new product from Vessel Health really interesting. At the moment, it is in pre-order and only ships in the US. The product is a wellness card which looks for the quantities of multiple components in your urine and an accompanying app for your phone. You pee on the test strip and scan it with your phone, which then shows your results in about two minutes. Here are the markers that the Vessel app measures. There was a note, when I went through their webpage, I did see that ketone B and creatinine are coming soon. It will be very interesting to be able to see these markers at home whenever you want, especially for human guinea pigs like us who want to track our markers closely. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the video informative. As we find more interesting research and longevity news, we will release our next newsletter. Please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and will speak to you again soon.